Okay. A couple hours. Uh, the title of this is your role as a senior warden, or what have I gotten myself into? What have you gotten yourself into? Name one. Work. Work. Hurting cats. Hurting cats. <laughs> okay. Money. Money. Could be. Yeah, big time. Wrong. Uh, Ritual. Big time commitment. Time commitment. Yeah. You get a quick cooking. You get to quick cooking for some lodges than two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what else? Responsibilities. A lot more responsibility, don't you? What else? Future commitment. Plan for your year. Future commitment. Anything else? Apologies. <laughs> stress. Hopefully only a few. Yeah. <laughs> Time management. Time management. Anything else? Scare the heck out of your candidates. <laughs> As part of your commitment that you are signing up for, as a senior warden, you should be able to do all of the following here. To the point that if a candidate comes in, they, you are comfortable about teaching the lessons that are to be, uh, to be found within these activities. And there's a lesson in each and every one of them, even in the opening and closing. <coughs> As a senior warden, it's nice that you are proficient in opening and closing and you don't miss a word. But have you been in lodges where the opening and the closing are done not rote memory of the guy trying to think about what he's trying to, you know, think about the word, but they're truly thinking about the meaning of what's going on. And that's what they're really truly trying to impart. And that's the difference between a senior warden that's competent and a senior warden that will be a true asset to his lodge and to the members, especially the new members of his lodge. Because if you can just go through the road opening, why in the West? Because the sun is in the West at the close of the day, so is the sea. To assist one's master, opening and closing his lodge. Knowing the words is one thing. Knowing the meaning behind the words and being able to portray them is something else. You don't do that often. You don't call up. You don't call them. You should be prepared to do that and know it so without looking at the book. Rather, if one of the Grand Lodge weenies comes running around your lodge visiting, Okay, that's disrespectful. If one of the Grand Lodge racker bats. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying this from experience? <laughs> Does everyone know what a racker bat is? Nope. Um, <laughs> that's somebody that's really high up and they just split around all over everything. Okay? If one of those For guys somebody. comes by, I don't know that you're trying to impress them so much as you're trying to convey the confidence in your lodge that you know what you're doing. Refreshment to labor. Those things you don't do very often. But as a senior warden, and as you are assembling your team, and that's what they are, is they are your team. You're supporting them, they're supporting you. These are something that you should probably practice. And brethren, a pizza and a six pack of beer goes a long way for practice. Yes, it okay? Budgeted item. Budgeted item. Thank you. Budgeted item. Is the brother here that was actually, uh, I think they Frank S. Land that were brewing? Maybe you could work up a deal with them or something. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of lodges do things a little bit differently about introducing the senior wardens. Most of them say, you know, meet me down on the level or whatever that is. But brethren, do me this favor. Do, your, do yourself a favor. Show a little respect for the senior warden within your district. Know them by name. If you have a district officers association, then you're with these guys quite a bit. Get to know them. 
and please get to know their names and a little bit of something about them, their lodge, um, and, and, and some little personal item. Now, here's the difference that I see in a lot of lodges, okay? In that when they introduce their fellow senior wardens, it's Joe Jones from X number of lodge at numbers whatever. And by the way, brother, he's a car mechanic. And if you are looking for getting your car repaired, here's your guy. Well, okay, it's a little bit funny, and it may be a little bit out of order. But you know you have expressed some sort of little personal knowledge of that brother. And he is now much more apt to, to remember you, right or wrong, and do return the favor when you go visit their lodge. At this point, and I know this is tough, but particularly for a lot of you guys, where how many people have been, all of you, everybody here senior wardens? No, no. I'm junior no? warden. Junior warden. How long have you been a master mason? Uh, two years. Two years. Senior wardens, how many have been masons more than 20? Thank you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> how many have been more than 10? More than five, under five. Guys, keep your hands up. Everybody turn around and look. Your senior warden, under five years. Holy cow. You have been running on the fast track. You are running on the fast track. And I want to thank you on behalf of Freemasons of Washington for stepping up to that challenge. An additional challenge so that. You should be, at this point, traditionally having already conferred an EA and, and fellow craft degree. Now that may not actually be always be the case, but if you have done that, thank you and way to go. And if you haven't, brethren, when you get to be master, you're going to have much more on your plate than trying to just confer all of the degrees. You, you're, you're stepping up for a, a, a lot, okay? So, what, if, if you've only been a master mason less than five years, and have, have you conferred any degrees? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Do you know all three? I do. Thank you. Thank you. Get one of them down, and get one of them, nail it. Just, just nail it, okay? And there are other people in your lodge that can help you with the others. I challenge you as a past master <coughs> to continue your work and do the rest of the, the rest of the degrees. Now, there's a sense of pride in it for one. And secondly, uh, the, being able to confer uh, in all three of the degrees helps your lodge in case of need. Okay? Um, and I, I told this to the other class. Uh, I'll be coming by your lodge, uh, hopefully, uh, multiple times within the next year and a half. I'm going to do my best. I, I'm going to do my best, that's all I can say. And rather than come in for a watermelon feed or coming in for, you know, just some little something just to be there, I would much prefer that you work with me, and if you have a degree, I would be quite honored to help you confer or confer. Consider it for next year. You had your hand up. Yeah, who, whose idea was, was the King Hiram drama? Like, I got the, get the list down except the King Hiram part. That was, uh, I don't remember reading that in the brochure. <laughs> <laughs> so various lodges, you know, uh, attach various tasks to the, to the senior wardens. Yeah. Uh, the majority of the lodges that I have visited, uh, if you run the normal track, if you're not on the fast track, by the, uh, they used to get their senior deacons to do their inner apprentices confer mm -hmm. and then they send your junior wardens and mm -hmm. so by the senior warden you're actually working on the master mason this well my lunch yeah. yeah and so for that point i don't know if you're ready to actually sit in the east of the drama section but you should at least be able to do to do hiring now these are these are recommended your lodge is going to be a little bit different but i, I may use this strictly as this point there's a lot of work for senior wardens just in the ritual Besides all the rest of this stuff. Anybody comment? Question? As a senior warden, in your work, what have you got? 
What's up? Two deacons. Two deacons. What else? <coughs> Planning for your year. See that none go away dissatisfied. That's very important. And that's a challenge. Isn't it? it is. <laughs> what about knowing the senior warden's portion in the fellow craft lecture? Mm -hmm. Think about that for a second. You have a part. How often do you know what that part is? How many times have you gone in and seen that and watched people go, uh, is, this, is this the grip or is this the word? Is this, what, what is this? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Because it's not clearly defined in your ciphers, right? You have to go dig for this out of the standard work, and then maybe you'll get a little help from your deputies. Rather, be prepared for this. You will be doing, if you're doing inter apprentices, you will be doing fellow crafts. Know your section of that. Of that. Because what <coughs> happens if you don't? You've got this poor guy, right? He's walking around. He's actually watching what's going on. He's trying to comprehend. You filled his brain to overflowing. Please don't, please don't make a, a poor impression on a fellow craft degree when he gets to your station. Take the time to learn that little tidbit and go practice it. Again, pizza and beer are good motivational tools for learning these little tidbits. The presentation of worshipful masters and other dignitaries. In, in a year or less, you're going to be sitting there in the East. <coughs> How many times have you seen the worshipful master stumble over the, the introductions of other worshipful masters? And you feel sorry for him. You, you go, oh my, that's, that could have been so much better. They would have enjoyed it so much more had they been able to comfortably, confidently go through and introduce somebody. The deputy. Again, brethren, you're going to be worshipful master. Get your team together. Get pizza get beer, and go practice. Go practice. Um, most senior wardens by this point will be called on as virtual masters to do the prayer, the apron. Uh, you're going to be able to confidently request from that entered apprentice something metallic. Don't stumble over that. There's a lot of meaning in that that he needs to go off and explore on his own, right? Make it something that he wants to go off and explore, not just scare the poop out of him. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Is that the EA prayer? Is that the vouchsafe thine aid thing? All right. That's the one. That's yeah. the one, right? And it's important. That this is your first impression, or that's that candidate's first impression of what's going on. So then would the worshipful master ask the senior warden to come up and do that then? There would be nothing in the code that says you couldn't. Okay. Be ready, because it will be your turn. Okay? I can do it. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you have within your knowledge <coughs> the help that that inner apprentice needs to operate in lodge. Write them down. There's a list of them, right? What is it? What, what are they? You don't cross between the Bible and the worshipful master. What else? Can't wear a hat. What else? Masonic jewelry. Yeah. The rap voting. Voting. Yeah. Make sure you have those. And rather, if you need to, write them down and have them in your hip pocket so that you don't leave up any of them out and you don't stumble over it. Okay? Now your prelude to closing. Now your posting and retiring on the flag. And brother, by this point, that's you should be working on or have completed your proficiency in lodge management. Show of hands. How many have completed it? I have good news for the rest of you. It is no longer a three hour exam which you have to go struggle through the Washington Masonic Code, the standard work, the monitor, and the rituals, the little ciphers. It's now online. Online. Self grading. You'll know right away. You go through, answer the questions, you'll know right away whether you pass or fail. Now, yes, sir. Now, uh, are you guys going to work on a PDF for the Lodge Officers Handbooks? I, I, the one I found online was out 
dated by a lot. But I noticed the Washington Masonic code was actually up to date that I use on my surface and launch now. Yeah, how much do I owe you for that question? Uh, That's a good question. <laughs> 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 That's all she left me. It might, might be a code later. Yeah, okay. I don't have that much. Um, we just had a team of brothers go through and re, I won't say rewrite, but revamp the Lodge Officer's Handbook in PDF form. And what they basically did is they brought in some new information. They took some of the old information that was outdated and re reworded it to make it a little more appropriate. And there were some things that just flat didn't make sense. And so you won't find those anymore. And my God, they, they organized and indexed it. Oh, God, that'd be sweet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Scary, isn't it? And where is that right now? Why isn't it on the Grand Lodge website? Because it's right this minute at the publishers, and as soon as the Grand Lodge website will go, they come back to the Grand Lodge office, it'll go up online, as well as being able to be uh, to order it. Yeah, Thank you, know you for the next, question. You know what my next question is going to be? How much is this one going to cost me? The, the test online, is it actually going to reflect the new corrections and additions of the Lodge Officer's Handbook that is now being republished? Uh, so they're working on that. I don't know that that's uh, in sync. Jim said it'd be done at the same time. For the PILM yeah. and yeah. the yeah. 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 so they were couldn't get yeah. printed yeah. Yeah. So where's brother Jim Hamlin is in charge yeah. of yeah. driving yeah. the Lodge Officer's yeah. handbook yeah. and make sure that it gets yeah. online. Yeah. Very much brother Chuck Compton is the one that's doing the proficiency in lodge management and they are talking. I don't know where they are. But thanks for the question. Well I, I took the exam online and when I was doing it it was yeah, I, I wanted to send a, a long, nasty email to the technology committee for writing the test because I got a couple wrong here and there. And I was looking at my books and I was like, you know, bogus! You know, it's just I had a discussion with my deputy about it. This is the real bad thing about hard copy stuff, right? I mean, this is what we used to rely on. Everything was a printed word, but with uh, PDFs, and you can update now, what do you do with all the old stuff? Oh, uh, all of a sudden, you're, you are out of date. Uh, you're going to see a lot of new forms coming out this year. As a matter of fact, I think they come out the first part of next month. Um, I hope they don't come out on April Fool's Day. Anyway, so, uh, there's a new investigate. There's a new petition form. It's been modernized and updated. Yes, it's online or will be online. There's a new uh, investigation form. It's been expanded careful of that one. It has been expanded and modernized. Okay? Uh, there's and there's several others that will be sitting here very, very shortly. But I get off I digress. Okay. Yeah, me. The proficiency in launch management. Does everyone know what it really truly is for? You know what it is, you know why it is. So we don't get in trouble for, as master. for things like uh, your taxes, for things like your yeah, pretty for, much. For your, for your finances, yeah. 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 how to find the stuff in the code. Yeah, that's, that's designed to work. That's exactly right. That's, that's, yeah. that's, that's the whole key. There's all sorts of information there. Even even Steve Martin knows that there's information there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but he doesn't look at it either. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's to teach you how to use the Washington Sign Code. More importantly than what's in there, how to use it, where sections uh, pertaining to your particular issue live. And brethren, that is our document. You're going to look at that, and I guarantee you're going to go, well, that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. And I'll probably agree with you. But guess who changes it? There you are. You guys are the ones that change it. Not Grand Lodge. Okay. So if you don't like it, Fill out a resolution. Well, let's go fix it. Yes, sir. On the website, when you go to take or attempt the test, there's three links. Uh, part one, two, and three. Are those okay. to be taken at the same time, or do you, you break it up? What, why, why are there three different links? I guess rather than just one. Do I'm not sure. Uh, okay. You know, I the last the last revision went out uh, a month or so ago, and I haven't had a chance to look. I, I don't know anybody. Anybody? Well, just, just, uh, what, I, what I learned from uh, my deputy, uh, district deputy, the DDGM, he uh, said that the reason why is so, you know, in case you're at work or you're at Starbucks or wherever, you know, you do one part, 
you have some time to come back, take the uh, last two. Okay. Kind of gives it time to for the information to digest in your mind. Gotcha. Or I guess I should say imprint on your mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. That, that, that's what we're going to So that we have Microsoft Office and Services and Microsoft Office. Yeah, uh, there's, there, right now. there is an, uh, a, a movement to get it on iPhones and pads, oh. well, make it an app. Well, you, 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 you the, the, um, the map thing doesn't even work unless you have it. And, uh, the, so, yeah, they're working on that. Like, yeah. Microsoft will work on Microsoft services. Yeah, they're working on that as well. You know, the new, yeah, the new website doesn't work on the iPhone, right? Yeah, yeah the I, know, I, Microsoft, I know. Microsoft, yeah. services, yeah, yeah, just Android. Android and, yeah. Find the hotel and figure out what it said. Yeah, they're aware of it and they are working on it. Checks in the mail. <laughs> yeah. Like you said, you know, we're going from hard copy to digital. Yeah, so some of us, it just takes, you know, we are moving at the speed of masonry. <laughs> okay, all righty. No the words that go around balloting. How many times have you just watched guys just struggle over going through how to open and close a ballot and the, the steps that are in between? Rather, pizza, six pack, and go <laughs> practice that with your officers. Go practice that with your team. Yeah, well. I need a lot of practice. Did you hear that? Say it again, Howard. I said by the time while you're doing all this practicing, you're fat and broke. <laughs> you won't remember what you learned. <laughs> That's why it's only a six pack. What else do you need? By your election. By your election, not your installation. What else do you need? What else do you should you have under your belt? Calendar. Your calendar. calendar. Your vision of the year. What your plans. Your plan. A team. Your team. Thank you. Hopefully the support of your team. <laughs> you <laughs> your, you'll get their support. What else? That's why you order. <laughs> Rather, by that point, you should really be setting up with your team uh, officers' meetings. Schedule officers' meetings. And brother, do yourself a favor. Because these, these things, you're talking about 8, 9, 10, 15 brethren on your team, and they're going to want to talk about anything and everything. They're going to talk about the water heater that exploded and what the dog has done. Brethren, set expectations for your officers' meetings. Have particular tasks and responsibilities for them. Make sure you have an agenda and that you cover things that need to be worked on. It's up to you as worshipful master on how the lodge works. It's not in the code that says that this, the junior deacon has to come up to the altar and say, do what he's performed. That's not, in the, that's not in the ritual anywhere. How do you want it, worshipful master? How would you prefer that that lodge be run? You want him in the in his station? You want him at the altar? You have to tell him. You can't just assume that he's going to read your mind. One day. Make sure that you have a plan to work with your team on getting your the in, introductions done the way that you want them. And how to use the rods. <laughs> how many times have you guys been sitting on the sidelines and your deacon comes sweeping, uh, sweeping by with the rods and takes somebody out? Like, whoosh, whoosh, I cut my corners. Oh, I'm sorry, brother. Somebody call him Mitch. <laughs> right? So make sure. I don't need you on purpose. I know it's not on purpose. No, I smiling. You on purpose. Quit smiling when you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than you poor Tyler. Just, In just, just think about it every now and then. <laughs> poor guy, he's out there. And he's got an old used Reader's Digest. And he's just... He, <laughs> There's nothing that says you can't invite him in. We got Wi Fi in my lodge. He's <laughs> oh, so he watching the game. You guys are having to pay the bill. You can learn a lot. He's got the notes from the master from 1913 to now. He's watching and reading all the plaques. Yeah. What are the words you use to invite the Tyler in? Where are they found? Nowhere. Lodge officer's handbook. No. Mm -hmm. Will be. Will be. And here they are. You can write this down. Or not. Are we allowed to? <laughs> 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 so I got 
got to tell Bruce okay. something. You yeah. know? Sammy said I could. Yeah, well, so in, in your deposition, uh, my name is Howard Stevens. <laughs> Have the tiler secure the outer door and tile from without the inner door. Now, does that make sense? No. Yeah. no. What do you mean, no? Makes yeah, it does. Hit me with it. Why doesn't it make sense? Well, shouldn't you tile from with it? Well, I guess so, yeah, without the inner door. Without the inner door. He's outside of the inside. Because he's not in the lodge. He has not signed in, has he? No. Secure the outer door and tile from without the inner door. And he's not to come into the lodge. If he puts his feet across the lodge, he's in the lodge, and then he should sign in. And if he signs in and then there's an alarm, does he have to go sign out before he goes into the alarm? Yes. See? It, it causes issues. Close the outer door, have him tile from without the inner door. Does that make sense, guys? Yep. Okay. Thank you. So it's secure <laughs> the, outer the outer door. door. Okay. And tile from, from without the inner door. Yes, sir. Okay. On your business meetings, brethren, as senior warden, get into the habit of making an agenda for your business meeting. Do not rely on your secretary. Do you know what a secretary's job? Do we have any secretaries in here? Uh, Past secretary? What is your job? Is to mess with the mess with the worship master, isn't it? Well, it's the worship master. The worship master basically just looks to his left for all the answers. That's yeah. all I mean. The answers are over here. The virtual master is actually over here on the left. I mean, he just, what? Is yeah, the secretary? Oh. exactly. And your job is Jesus. to mess with him. <laughs> Don't let him do that. Right? <laughs> Sit down at your at your officer's meeting. Going, brother, what do we need to talk about? And let's very quickly make an agenda of everything that's going to be covered. Brother, here's a secret. This is one of the few Masonic secrets. You know that you're going to be making a motion on the floor to go pay uh, $50 to the Job's daughters. You know that's coming up. Why don't you look at your junior warden or your senior warden as works for master and going, will you bring that motion to the floor and will you second it? Done. You don't have to spend any time going, oh my God, is this going to pass? Is somebody going to bring up the motion or anything? Take care of the business at your officer's meetings. There's another reason for doing that. Keeps your meetings short. Sure. Yeah. More time to the office afterwards. More time for the friend that lost the bruise the beer. Okay. I, I like that idea, Sam, but then it draws the question like, why is the finance committee, you know, doing all the motions and seconding? You know, it kind of draws suspicion. There's still a discussion. Yeah, there's still Well, you still got the discussion, yeah. Board, right? They're just, they're just bringing it up for the discussion. Yeah, yeah. the finance, yeah. So it's, it's, I would ask you, you know, this return question. Because I had the same idea with my master, and he's, he wants the brother involved. And, How many times do you sit in the lodge, and, you're, and everybody's looking around for something, nobody will, I'll let him do it, I'll let him do it. Nobody brings up. It, it happens quite a bit. That's why me and the, the junior warden, we take care of it, but we... Give them that 60 seconds. If you want the brothers involved, invite them to the officers' meeting. We don't have officers' meetings. No, well, there you go. Yeah. I've never heard of one. Yeah. I would suggest to you that your committee chairs attend the officers' meetings. So you know what's going on right up front. And when you ask for their reports, for like, let's have the bikes for books uh, report. It's brief and he doesn't ramble because you know exactly what it's going to say. If he gives it to you in an officer's meeting, da -da, if we didn't do anything this month, brother, I won't call on you and embarrass you that you haven't done anything or that there was nothing to be done. Yes, sir. One thing that I've tried, I, I don't think, I know what you're saying. I, I think some folks, there's easy business to just get taken out. And I don't think anybody cares if the officers motion and second it. But there's things that might be controversial. And so what I've done is to have that meeting, you know, have that idea at the officer's meeting, talk about it, and then bring it up for discussion. You're not the one putting the motion on the floor. So I can bring it up for discussion real quick, and it's a little bit longer, but then what you have after that, if nobody wants to discuss it, a motion a second and done, and then usually, you know, there's not the whole conspiracy there. Oh, all the officers are just taking care of the business and running through, so. The problem I, I see with that, and this has happened at our lodge, is if you start talking, <laughs> you get away from what the motion that you want to do is if it's as simple it's as simple as like giving a loan and to one of our things next thing you know we're talking about like the specifics oh is it a five-year or six-year 
Say the motion. I move that we do a 10 year loan at 5% at this rate and have somebody second it. Second. Now, is there any discussion on this? And as the master, control the discussion. Mm -hmm. If your brothers are starting to talk, wrap the gavel, quiet them down. Hey, and if they still talk, wrap them up, stand them up, stand everybody up and say, all right, if you don't want to have a civil conversation, we're going to stand for the rest of the meeting. And then watch how fast everybody quiets down. Look, I'm from Stillicum number two. We have a. Yeah. <laughs> the reason behind it is, is when you're in a meeting, that's your meeting. If the one thing, and we've had, we've had the whole group get up and walk out because the master lost control of his meeting. And that was the worst, worst time. How is the senior warden supposed to say, oh, brethren, we're all, we're leaving in harmony. And well, as you look around now, you had a lodge full of people. Now you've got one, two, three. And it's really simple. Just go up there, present what you want to say, say it. Just make sure you control the conversation because we went for half an hour mm -hmm. going on about should it be modified or remodified. These are the doing? things that should go in your officer's Exactly. Meeting. So just go in and if say you know what, who's going to nominate it, who's going to second yeah. it, what's going to happen. You don't have those issues. Exactly. <laughs> and that's don't sit up and don't bring the discussion just to come a, come to the motion. Bring up the motion. Explain what it's for. Say, hey, look, is there any discussion? Is there a discussion? Great. No discussion? Let's vote. Well, Worshipful Master could even say, you know, we're going to have a 10 minute discussion on it. Mm -hmm. Limit the, the discussion. Mm -hmm. He yes. can say, we're going to limit it to the quantity, the price, the. It's, whatever. It is, it's the master to control. Is Everybody's point is this is no. It's specific. Pre plan. Pre plan. Yeah. Pre plan at your officer's meeting. So, yes, sir. Uh, and your officer's meetings can actually be, be fun. And oh, we have a blast. Six pack of you know, pizza. Six pack of pizza. By the way, I wrote that down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, you can write that, right? You can write that part. <laughs> And I'll, I'll even tell you on that. It was, it was, it was the worst we had officers I've ever been to. It was we invited our ladies. Yeah. On yes, sir. Something that wasn't Absolutely. Well, I, Howard's over here shaking his head because I know what his girlfriend is going to say. But yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the issue is this: is if you've got an event coming up, let the ladies know what you're, you know, what you're doing. They yeah. like to organize. They'll get you organized. <laughs> yeah, more yeah. Okay. <laughs> It doesn't it's hurt. Your right officers' right. meetings are your team, and your team doesn't necessarily have to be restricted. Just uh, senior and junior wards in your lodge. Right? Build your team. Yeah, we invite anybody who wants to come. I know one lodge that invites their newest master mason as part of their their uh, officers' team. Their newest. Or as soon as they uh, bring in one, I think I think the minimum, the maximum term is like six months, and then they bring in the, the rest of them. Yeah, you, you get your feel of what you guys come up with. Yeah, you really will. Okay, your installation should be all planned, and there are planning guides all over the place. Your deputies should have an a absolute installation checklist, and if not, send me an email. I have two versions of it, <laughs> and it'll take you all the way down to everything from music to flowers to introductions. It'll walk you through everything that you need, including planning, desserts, and refreshment, and everything, and give you a spreadsheet for cost to go on with it. You're going to have your favorite beer. And Sam, you'll receive an email tonight. Your favorite, beer, your favorite <laughs> dessert. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's right down to your presentations. It'll walk you all the way through it. If you have, like, a musician. Okay, Fred is confirmed. Here's his phone number. Check. Next. It'll walk you all the way through it. Uh, most of your deputies have something uh, that they've used over the years. And guess what? On Sunday, I'll be meeting with the deputies. And I'll share a planning guide with them. Okay? I'll make sure that they, they have something that they can share with you. Okay? Your installation should be all planned as senior warden. And I'm not talking about two months before installation. Rather, this almost ought to be planned. Not now. necessarily totally in detail on the day you're installed as senior warden. There's a lot to it. If you wanted something more than just somebody standing up and going, you're installed, it takes work. Okay? 
you should have an idea on your your calendar when to work with your district deputy about setting your official visit and get prepared for your official visit even as a senior warden you're working on your calendar you should say when your deputy shows up going i have these particular days when i would like for you to come over are any of these available and give them an option and brother please please do not have other business going on that night for your official visit no degrees no programs get your get your deputy in and get it out okay pizza and beer you don't want him here a lot Jeremy. Okay. Jeremy. <laughs> so if you're sitting there uh, about to do three Master Mason degrees that night, you've given him a lots of time to reflect on your problems. Don't do that. Okay? Get your committees planned. Now most lodges have standing committees, and that's great. But what about special events? <coughs> You, as the Northwell Master, have bigger problems than trying to organize the summer picnic. Delegate Northwell Masters, sure. future Northwell Masters, delegate that. Go find somebody that is ready, willing, and able, and go, you're in charge. Make it happen. Sit with me and get a budget. Sit with me and tell me what your, 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 uh, your general plan is, and I will give you guidance. And then step back, brother. They will not do it the way you want it done. They won't. So what? He gets it done. Gets it done. And you don't have to worry about it. Okay. Uh, if you have other committees that are kind of idle and not really working, pull them aside with your officers. Right. Make plans to pull them aside with your officers to say. Let's get you revitalized, what you need to be successful, and help them. Uh, make sure you get all your lodge activities in your calendar. Brethren, have a purpose for everything you do. If it's a stated meeting and the purpose is to fulfill the requirement for the Washington Masonic Code, put it down. But if you're having a special meeting, have a purpose. Other than just pizza and beer. Well, wait a minute, that is a purpose. Okay, never mind. Okay. Make sure that you're doing, that there's a reason for everything that you do, not just because it's always been done that way. I have a member of a lodge that just says, we're going to go have this dinner. It's an annual dinner. That's great. If that's your only purpose, is because we've always done it. You need to either add new purpose or give, give up the dinner. Sorry. Okay. Make sure that you give the brethren some lodge education. And this does not have to be a 20 or 40 minute speech. It does not have to be an hour and a half play or program. Lodge education could be as simple as we vote with our left hand. Why? Use of the rod. It's as close to your heart. Oh. Oh, good. <laughs> 50 points. <laughs> it could be a minute and a half thing. Ask a question, let it be discussed. Go around. Ask a brother to give something. We had a 20 minute zombie apocalypse uh, this in our lodge, and Bruce was there. Yep. He loved it. Yeah. <laughs> Say it again. Zombie apocalypse, or so doing it again during my year, too. Yeah, it can be, and it doesn't necessarily have to be the kind of Masonic. One of the things that we were talking about is what, you talked about at Table Lodge number one. What can you do to make things more meaningful? Your meaning, being more meaningful. Well, there it is. I was listening to an interesting discussion a few months ago on a podcast, and they were talking about it could be as simple as the liberal arts and sciences do a presentation on cool Masonic music or you know, history or architecture. I mean, it really does all tie into what we're trying to do. So. I can't remember, the, uh, I think you showed it to me, Casey, that uh, there's a lot of site with Ben Franklin, the guy that portrays Ben Franklin, 
and he talks about, uh, and, and it's what, four and a half minutes of a little video. They're great. It's by the uh, Grand Lodge, or that's the Grand Lodge Massachusetts. Massachusetts, yeah, it's awesome. And the guy is more, yeah, I watch every year so He's got the forum. That's what I want. Is I want to be able to. Say. My suggestion is this: is that you just have something at every meeting. Make sure that, as a senior ward, you are ready for the wars of competition. Why? Why do you need to be? Why? Why would the senior ward want to be competing? Represent. Represent shows he knows his work. Rather. Prepares you for master. Absolutely, so that you are comfortable with what's uh, with opening and closing and all the rest of the rituals. Get you prepared for the song. Get you, yeah, that's a good question. Rather, I'll be, I'll be the one, first one to tell you, as a competitor and then as a judge, for the, you have never seen such a sense of pride for those guys that compete. It's a wonderful thing. You will, you will come back and go, bye, George. That was a pain in the but I'd do it again. <laughs> to add to that, uh, our uh, senior warden actually won that competition, and you should see the boost that it gave that law, our lodge, to know that our senior warden is the one who won that particular competition. Yeah. It was just our lodge was juiced for weeks. It's awesome. And it all sounds <laughs> lecture, but for the most part, I do believe that. They, they will allow you to bring all your officers with you. Yeah. So you bring your junior work and your deacons. And, and, and no support. Uh, it's, it's a, just the competition is really something to get ready for. Make sure that you have next year's plan all, all ready to rock and roll. Now, the trick on this was I was supposed to like give you points for, you know, for all the things that you answered. The thing is, is that if you go back and score yourself on the, I've, I've got this ready, I've done this, and you check all those things off. If you've got zero to 75, those things already checked off the senior wardens, you're in the old state. All right? If you're between 50 and 90, you're, you're going to be doable. You're going to get there by the time you get ready.